Welcome everybody to a preview viewing. This is episode zero of No Rest for the Wicked. I'm the preacher. I'll be your host for this very special time together. Uh, I am supremely grateful for Moon Game Studios and Private Division for the key that they provided so that I could get into this game that looks like it's going to be truly amazing. I have been looking forward to getting a hold of it ever since I first heard about it and uh, very happy to be able to bring that to you. Just loaded the game. This is the first thing you see aside from the logos flashing on the screen and a very small percentage of individuals may experience epileptic seizures because this is going to be flashing lights and some of those things. So this is your warning. You can pause and read the rest of that if you want. Now, if you do not know how I do this, I'd like to welcome you to the channel. I've had a lot of subscribers that are brand new to the channel here recently, and I always provide an episode zero. Episode zero is not gameplay. Episode zero is me getting into just the menus, talking my way through, making my setup, doing those sorts of things. So we will not be hitting go. We will instead be hitting settings, taking a look at this. But don't you fear, if episode zero is not for you, I am not going to be offended in the very least. You can go ahead and skip episode zero and jump on over to episode one. That gameplay should go live at the exact time as episode zero does. So with very little further ado, let's take a look at the settings and see what this game holds in store for us. Already, just listening, by the way. Yeah. You can hear the waves. The music in the background, slightly choral. I was going to say operatic, but choral is much better. All right, let's go in and see what we are going to do. Auto-targeting enemies, auto-lock. I do like auto lock. I know that's not everybody's thing. Controller vibration, bless your hearts. No, thank you. I always find it to be remarkably distracting. And so I'm not a huge, huge fan. Uh, controller or camera shake. Uh, I can give or take this one. It depends. If it's really overdone, I am not a fan. If it's very minor, it doesn't bother me a bit. It kind of gives me that, hey, you've just been struck. Look, uh, as somebody who has been punched in the face before, I guarantee you that your camera does shake, so to speak. So <laughs> I'm just going to let you know. Uh, I'm going to leave it at 100% just to begin with, and I may come back and adjust it. Of course, I'm going to be going in English. Mein Deutsch ist schrecklich. It's been a long time since I was able to speak German with any kind of fluidity. It's gone. So we'll be doing English. That German's in there. Uh, never learned enough Spanish. French is, my French is even far much weaker far much weaker, far weaker than my German. So we just let that go. Never learned Chinese, never learned Portuguese. So nice to know that those languages are there. I'm going to use the hints, toggle all the hints that appear on top of the screen on or off. Let's leave them on there for now. We'll see how um, busy the screen gets. Show the tutorials. Yeah, I'm probably going to need them for the beginner. Show cinematic subtitles. Yeah, I think I would like to see those just to make sure I'm hearing everything as I would like. Show the enemy health bars. Yes, I like that. Do I want to see the poise bars? I am going to say yes. It feel As long as they're going to give me the option, I'm going to turn it on. Because that seems, to me, um, useful, I guess. So, show the damage numbers. I am a little less certain that I want to see the damage numbers, especially if they're really super distracting. But let's turn them on just to, just so we can see. We should we should see what the game has to offer. And the game devs have 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 brought some stuff. What is this? Is not scrolling down. Ah, maybe I should use instead of the arrow keys or the uh, directional keys. Maybe I should use the 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 left thumbstick. All right. Show stat numbers. Um, maybe I want those on. Let's turn them on. Let's turn them on. Same thing. Just because they've included them, I'm gonna go ahead and include them so that we can see what they are. Let's take a look at the controls. Left trigger is my parry. Let's hope I remember that. I won't, by the way. Offhand rune switch, left button. The gesture menu is right trigger. I'll be hitting that accidentally in the middle of battle a lot. I guarantee it. Main hand rune switch. Okay. I did see a comment by the devs saying that they are, uh, they, they've heard the complaints that they want, people want 
key binding. You can get in there and change these settings, and it might be really good if we could do that. Is that... Okay, the map is the uh, the menu button there, or uh, whatever you call these. I don't know what they're called. The map is the two squares button. <laughs> and the menu button is the three lines button. So that's nice. Uh, I'm switching items food, right click. Left click is going to be moving. Tap to sneak. Uh, I'm not sure I like... Okay, so A is dodge. B is cancel. That makes sense to my brain. Y is interact. And X is attack or hold a charge. Hold the right and left shoulder buttons for a shoulder barge. All right. Tap up to consume some food. Is that our healing? Tap to the left to toggle your offhand item. Okay, that makes sense. Switch your shield or your whatever. Uh, down to consume an item. Consume a quick item. Hold is your quick item. Oh. So there, it's going to make a difference between a tap and a hold. And if you don't hold long enough, it's going to assume you meant to tap. And I'm not a huge fan of what that might mean. Toggle the main hand item. I'll be playing around with this and screwing up the commands as we go. So feel free to join me. It looks like the build number in the top right hand side of the corner is 12553. Or maybe that's, maybe that's my me number. I don't know. Okay, so there is gameplay. Let's take a look at the display. We're going to go with 1440, 16 by 9. That's the monitor I am playing on. If you do see something on my channel that is currently in 4K, as of right now, which, what is this? This is April the 18th of 2024. Um, I'm playing on a 1440 monitor. I don't have a 4K monitor. Um, I don't really want to buy one right now. The 1440 seems to be working just fine for me. V-Sync. Okay, full screen window. Yes. I know the other options are probably going to be... Let's go ahead and... Whoops. Uh, um, take a look at everything crashing. Okay, there's my desktop. You can now see it. Let's come back. And full screen exclusive. That means that I can go back and forth with my mouse. I might leave it full screen exclusive right now. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, looks like I'm leaving it at full screen window for right now, and then I can use my mouse. Uh, whoop, yep, see, that turns it off. I can use my mouse if I need to to do something on my recording software. So, frame rate cap. Yeah, we're going to turn that. Hold on. Uh, where is, there we go. I want the frame rate, frame rate, rate, frame rate to be capped at 75 or 74, actually, because, well, 73 is good. Uh, my monitor's. Uh, refresh rate is 75 hertz, and so 73 gives me just a little bit of wiggle room in case something changes. And then I shouldn't have to worry about screen tear. The brightness, okay. Um, I mean, it it looks all right at 100% to me. Maybe I'm just going to leave that default. Contrast, same. I don't know in game if i'm gonna want something different and so i'm gonna assume for these that the designers kind of know what they're doing ui brightness that's probably going to be separately adjust the brightness of the in-game ui for most comfortable viewing I i'm gonna leave it at 100 percent for right now and if we need it then we'll uh, we'll upgrade that all right quality presets so we're gonna be at should i try best quality I'm going to try best quality. Pop. We're just going to see what happens to it. I I don't know. This might be the worst decision I've made today. It's been a long day already. Um, I have been up for... Um, yeah, 16 hours. Uh, 17 hours so far. And uh, that's all right. It's all right. It's going, to be, it's going to be a longer evening. The title of the game is No Rest for the Wicked. So I guess if I'm not getting any rest... That tells you everything you need to know. The preacher must repent. All right, moving on. Uh, sharpness, render scale. I'm going to leave these things the way they are. I don't know how much they change. Motion blur. Sorry. No, I know it's a nice cinematic feature. I don't like it. I found it too much. Frame rate independent motion blur. Enable consistent motion blur regardless of frame rate. Um, but since I've turned it off, it doesn't matter. Dynamic resolution, target FPS. Uh, enable to allow automatic adjustment of rendering resolutions to achieve a desired frame rate. Okay, so I'm going to target 60. 
I don't mind it defaulting to dynamic resolution as long as it still looks good. I'm going to aim for 60, and uh, even though my monitor goes to 75, fine. Maximum scaling. Um, set the maximum amount of horizontal resolution reduction dynamic resolution scaling will utilize. I am confused. Does that mean if I set it to 100%, that it that, that the maximum it will use is no the maximum amount of vertical resolution reduction so that means it will reduce it up to a full 100 percent. no okay <laughs> okay let's go back to uh what was the number i don't know was it 70 let's uh let's take it back to let's take it back to 70 i guess I don't know. It'll it'll reduce it up to 70% and no more. Maybe I want that to be 50%. I, I really want to see how the game works. Um, I do not have a flimsy card. I am running on a 7900XTX um, AMD card. And I think, I think it can handle most modern games just fine. Especially at 1440 rather than 4K. Okay, overall main settings. This is where we get some stuff going for audio. Overall, I'm gonna leave it 100%. But music can often overcome the game. And I don't want it to overcome the game. I wanna be able to hear it without it destroying everything. Sound effects. I'm gonna pull those down. I want them to be <clears throat> reasonable, right? I want them to be reasonable, but not redonkulous. And I don't want the sound effects of the game to overcome what I'm thinking and what I'm saying. Dialogue, however, I'm typically going to be quiet because I want to hear everything. So I want dialogue at 100%. Output type, home cinema, changes the way audio is panned depending on your speaker setup. Well, I'm using headphones here and I don't know quite how that's gonna come through on YouTube, but I am going to hope that it is for the best. Audio quality coming soon. So they will be making some changes there. And they did put out a roadmap. And I, um, uh, I'll i try to put a link, if I can, to the roadmap in the description below, if I remember to do that. If I don't, please somebody call me out in the comments, and I'll try to provide a link to the roadmap in the description. Let's go to the extras. I don't need to reset tutorials because I'm beginning. Credits, I don't need to do. Terms of service, I also don't need to do. Privacy policy, no. And health warning, we've already seen. Is that all? Okay. Well, continue the realms. Um, now I haven't created a character yet, so what are the realms? Let's take a look at this and hope it doesn't start a game. I really don't want it to start a game yet. Ow. So it's going to go to... So if you click on realms, right? If I go down to settings, go up to realms, and click, it goes to the create a character screen. And boy, doesn't he look special. Yeah, yeah, looks really special. Also, she looks very special. Uh, the proportions are not exactly ideal, I think, maybe. But uh, you know what, the art style they're going for, the, look at the hand-painted art style, okay? And I believe one of, the, one of the commentaries that I read did say that everything in here is kind of the, the hand is hand-painted, so it, it's designed to look that way. And uh, they've opted to give him some disproportionate arms. I'm okay with that. Uh, do I want a male or a female character? That is the question. Uh, are we going to go for Mr. Preacher or Mrs. Preacher this time? Huh? What's it going to be? Three, two, one. Mrs. Preacher it is. Okay. Let's go with Mrs. Preacher. Okay, okay. Facial. Can I zoom? No, I can't zoom. Okay. Let's see... I mean, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go with the default character. Uh, no, let's go with this one. Let's go with uh, item number two. Right? Or is this one number two? A little bit more tan. No? Okay. Mrs. Preacher's a little bit a little bit pale. So we're going to leave it at that. Uh, the name. Well, I guess we'll just call her Mrs. Preacher. That's what we're going to do. 
And, uh, oh, we get a customize as well. Okay, character creator. I I actually don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this, but let's go ahead and do some. Oh, kind of scarred and looks like she's been crying. Hmm. What was that movie? I never saw it. I don't really watch those kind of movies, but was it uh, uh, Hellbender or something like that? Anyhow. What am I... I don't know. I kind of like that one. There's a kind of an innocence to that face. Hairstyle. Okay. No, 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 no. Well, that's cute. Should we go with the... Uh, the bra Oh, maybe? I don't know. Oh, the dreads. The ponytail. All right, what was that? What was that one that I thought was kind of nice? That one, yeah. Let's go with the uh, with the braid, and we can do the color. Oh, should we do red hair? Let's do a red hair. And the eyes, we can change the eyebrow position. Let's take a look real quick and see. She looks angry. Now she looks surprised. Okay, let's leave her uh, kind of non-flushed. Whoop, eyes, eye distance. Um. Are we going to notice any of this? I have I have my doubts. I have my doubts because we'll probably have a helmet on 90% of the game. Eye position. We'll raise that just a little bit for no particular reason. Eye size. Do we want her to be... Uh, what's that? Kawaii? Do we want her to be really, really cute? Uh, or do we want her to have puny eyes? Let's give her some puny eyes. How about the nose? The nose nose. And a little bit wider. Uh, let's make it a little, little narrower this time. Okay, let's do that. And the mouth... Position, what is that changing? Okay, so it's just raising and lowering it relative to the chin and the nose distance. Let's, let's kind of go with that. Whoop. Mouth. Width? Sure. And the lip size. Let's play with that for just a moment. Whoop. No, let's go down. There we go. All right, nice and full. Thin and angry. Oh, let's go with thin and angry. She's about ready to fight off the horde of whatever is going to be here, right? Jawbone. All right. You know, actually, can I just say that at least these words make sense to me? Jaw position, jaw width, jaw chin position. Some of these games you get design character designers that are like uh, maxillofacial subcutaneous wiggle stuff. And I, I don't know what any of those words mean. Well, I do, but <laughs> they don't mean jaw position. They don't mean jaw width to my brain. So, you know, I'm just gonna say, I do appreciate simplicity. Of that, should we just uh, what are we gonna do with that chin? Shrink it? Oh, yeah, let's shrink the chin. Let's do that. All right, let's accept these changes. Um, is it me or does she look greener than before? Huh? Let's just create her. Select a realm, step into a realm awaiting your presence. All right, maybe this is where we get off because I think that if I create a realm, name your realm. Start at the beginning of the story. As you journey towards Sakra, the prologue can be skipped on future runs. Hope oh, we're gonna create a realm. What am I going to call my realm? Um, oh, golly. Um, well, you know what? We're starting from the great and mighty realm of the congregation. <laughs> Uh, this is the Preacher Plays channel. You can join the congregation. Please do so below. Click like and subscribe. And I'm going to hit create at the beginning of the next episode because I think that's where the game actually begins. Thank you for taking a short journey through the menus, through the setup of the game. And I, for one, am ready to get into it. You want to see what happens when there is no rest for the wicked? We'll find out the very next time. And I will see you there in about three, two, one.